Gavin Gary. His controversial suspension from the BBC has captured international attention. Now popular British sports host Gary Lineker is set to make his return to TV. I've already said what I'm going to say on Twitter. He started a series of posts writing, after a surreal few days, I'm delighted that we have navigated a way through this. On Monday, the BBC reinstating its highest paid broadcaster after a wave of fierce backlash from viewers and its own employees. Lineker was taken off the air last week after he criticized the UK government's newly announced immigration plan, which bars the entry of asylum seekers arriving in small boats across the English Channel. Britain's Interior Minister Suella Braverman had described the arrival of thousands of asylum seekers to the UK on small boats as an invasion. Lineker tweeting, this is just an immeasurably cruel policy directed at the most vulnerable people and language that is not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 30s. He was then suspended by the publicly funded national broadcaster for breaching impartiality rules. The UK Conservative government calling Lineker's comparison offensive and unacceptable, but many disagreed with that take, accusing the BBC of suppressing free speech and Lineker's colleagues staging a near mutiny refusing to go on TV over the weekend in a show of support for Lineker. And that forced the network to cancel much of its sports coverage. Asking Gary Lineker to step aside, I think was appropriate at that moment. But now an about face, BBC director Tim Davey explaining Lineker has agreed to stick to current editorial guidelines until a new policy is formed. And Davey denies politics played a role in yanking the former soccer star turned high-profile presenter of sports show Match of the Day off the program. Absolutely not affected by pressure from one party or the other. 